again, whenever you're evaluating the limit of a piecewise function, if it's at that kind of break-even point where it's either one function's to the left and one function's to the right, you have to test both of those functions. You have to test the limit from the left and the limit from the right, because if the limit from the left and from the right is equal, then obviously we know the graph is going to be um, continuous. So we just do limit as x approaches 3 from the negative of f of x and the limit as x approaches 3 from the positive of f of x. So if we look at 3, values that are less than 3 are going to the left. So the left-hand limit, we're going to use this function. 2 times 3 minus 4. 2 times 3 is 6 minus 4 is 2. From the right-hand limit is going to be the function where the x values are greater than 3, which would be using this function. So you're just going to type in 3 squared minus 2 times 3. 3 squared is 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. So this limit, as x approaches 3 of f of x, does not exist. Right? There's basically a jump between those. This looks something, as we kind of mentioned, um, I don't know what these graphs look like, but it's going to be something like this, roughly. Right? Obviously, that's minus 4. Uh, I don't know. But, but I want you guys to understand. So piecewise functions, they can be continuous, like the first two examples. Um, they could also be a jump.